Welcome Libra to the channel. It's Robin here. How's it going? Um, this is my YouTube channel, Aries Fire Tarot. So thanks for stopping by. I'm getting ready to do um, an abundance read. So I usually do a financial read, but this morning I was guided to do um, find a abundance tarot card spread online. So I did that and it comprises five questions, which will be divined through five tarot cards. And I'm, they're gonna be positioned in a certain way, but I'm gonna keep the camera up here this time. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy the read. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Um, and just keep in mind, you know, it's a general reading, guys. So I really hope that it resonates with every viewer, but it might not. So feel free to check out any other amazing tarot card reader on YouTube or, you know, you might just need a private reading or whatever. But anyway, I hope you enjoy regardless. And I am using the good tarot because it's green, represents money. This is what the companion book looks like. And I did get it off Amazon for any of you tarot card readers that are wondering um, where I got it. And this is just a beautiful deck to work with, you guys. I love it. So anyway, hope you enjoy the reading. And please take a second to like, share, and subscribe, guys. It really helps me on the channel. Um, yeah, anyway, one more shuffle. I'm look, just looking at these questions while I shuffle. And the first one is going to, to say... Um, like, what is your current relationship with allowing abundance? So let's check that out here quickly. I'll pick out one card. Um, so the justice card. So your current relationship with allowing abundance. You know, this is really an interesting card. And I know I say that a lot, but I, <laughs> I think the tarot cards are interesting. So this is the justice card. And this really relates to what goes around comes around. Um comes around goes around and anyway just everything kind of goes in a circle so if your current relationship is based on your past relationship you know um and you don't have really good current relationship with money or abundance or whatever you call abundance for you it could be that you're operating on a learned or past behavior related to abundance So the second card I pulled here for you, this is a cool card, I'll show you in a second. How to get myself into alignment. Um, and I pulled the King of Fire. So the King of Fire, this is a really hardworking guy. You know, he just has this sense of being able to get things done. Um, and I think what's really interesting about him is that he's got his heart extend, his hand extended with his heart, with a heart in it just realizing that it's his heart beating that makes everything around him move so to get yourself into a little bit better alignment it's like you're gonna have to connect to how you really feel about money and if your current situation is that you don't feel good about money um, there's some really weird perceptions about money out there. You know, money is evil. Money is the root of all evil. Money is not the root of all evil. Money is a tool. Um, you know, sometimes humans use it for evil purposes, but that's not the money's fault. Um, you know, you don't have to be a specific class of person to have lots of money. You, all you have to do is kind of show up on earth and, you know, you, if you want money, it should be yours. There's no um, barrier other than the ones that have been taught or self-imposed. So um, you could really put your heart into wanting more money and it's okay. So the third card is gonna help tie these together a little bit better. Um, energy needed to embrace more awareness about abundance. So. Like I said, you could be operating from a place of just being trained that there's not enough money, you have to pinch every penny, you might not be deserving of money because, you know, I don't know. Um, I saw some, I was watching some show about royalty and they like just were swimming in, in money and meanwhile, like people are being taxed to like the, the point of breaking and like one of the lines was something similar to like, well, we just have to set a good example and for, you know, people to strive for. And that's kind of true, but it also just kind of showed me a lack of generosity. Um, but anyway, I'm not really sure what I was getting at, but 
let's just pull this card energy needed to embrace more awareness about abundance so this is the tower so the energy here i'm going to show you guys the card right away um this is like a beautiful calm tower too it's not exploding it's like your foundation needs to be inspected you know um your energy could be completely wrong you could have been completely misguided you know especially and i grew up in a family where you know money was there was never enough money you know we can't afford that and oh you know it was just everything about money was apoc apocalyptic and you couldn't bring it up and no you can't have that you know so i kind of I believed that uh, like for years, like I, until recently and like was always scraping. So after having a kind of a moment of realization, it was sort of my tower moment where I came in to find my gurus. They're saying that, you know, money is just energy and whatever you shift your energy to is what you can attract to you. Um, so you have some really, what I'm seeing here is like some deep generational beliefs about money or abundance and who deserves it and who should have it. Um, and being able to change it here with the king of fire, like by living more inside your heart a little bit and, and sort of leaving, like this is a really bleak tower. It's very monochrome and you know, you got to get out of there. You got to get out of the tower. That That's sort of siloed off into just almost a destitution, you know? It, it doesn't need to be that way. So let's look at the current blessing that you should be grateful for. And this is the Ten of Water. So I actually just, um, I posted a daily tarot vibe about the ten of water the other day and this is like the ten of cups really um reflects your emotions um and this is just like the basis the root of the card was being able to celebrate yourself you know just being grateful to be you no matter what you look like right now you know what your current situation is and when i say what you look like i'm not talking about this you know all of this you guys you know your exterior is an accident of birth you know but everything else on the inside is workable uh, well everything is but blah 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 okay moving on so just being able to celebrate you um in whatever situation you find yourself in um, whether it's like living in a studio apartment and not having a whole lot of money and maybe not working right now and, you know, or, you know, no matter what your current reality is, just getting up and like just recognizing that you are worth love and, you know, to be happy being you, that you are this blazing, like beacon of light wrapped in a human form. So this is what your blessing is to be grateful for. Just being here, being alive, and knowing that everything else around you, your exterior can be changed. And I'm not just talking about your physical self. I'm talking about all everything that um, works around you, like walking down the street. You can change the street you live on. You can change the house you live in. You can change the clothes you wear. So you've got really intense energy in these cards here. Um, I think that some of you may not be aware that you're able to change things. You don't have to accept the status quo. You know, you, you don't have to... My dog just left. Um, you don't have to accept anything that you don't want to. So, like I watch... I, I follow a lot of really spiritual people um, on all my social media. Um... And it's like, what you're not changing, you're choosing. Now let that sink in. What you're not changing, you're choosing. So everything around you, you guys, is a choice. And that is your income. That is the place you work. It's the clothes you wear. It's the people you hang out with. Everything that you're not changing, you're choosing. So, um, and you can change all of that. 
Oh, she was staring at me relentlessly. I had to like, <laughs> anyway. Um, so card number five, how should I be investing my energy to attract more abundance? This is a three of earth. Oh, beautiful, beautiful card for you guys. Three of earth, three of pentacles, three of coins. It's also the card for alchemy. If you have not read the book, The Alchemist, I really want to um, suggest that to you guys here. Also, Bob Proctor, You Were Born Rich. Also the book, and I'm sorry, I can never remember this author's name, um, Three Magic Words. So really game-changing, life-changing, and this is how you need to be investing your energy, right? Is to believe it, to think it, um, to understand that your heart can take you anywhere that you want to follow it so sometimes you might have to let your heart outside your body and i i did this really interesting uh, meditation um where you sort of let your heart lead the way because there's a school of thought um that your heart has a brain too and when you listen to your heart you're actually attracting on a whole different level and this is a really sort of deep deep waters that you guys are being led into and if it all seems really foreign or weird and it's not making sense like oh this tarot card's crazy this tarot reader's crazy i'm not crazy you know I've, I've done a lot of studying you guys and it's like once your heart opens up the world around around you opens up and it'll take you to places that you've probably never been before um and the alchemy card is being able to follow your bliss follow your heart and it'll take you to more um, abundant areas. It's like everything here is pointing to you and your heart and to sort of break away from any kind of ancient promises or generational curses or vows of poverty that ancestor could have made or um, watching how people in your family handle money. They could be nervous about it you know, um, my great grandparents, you know, they grew up in the war, in the Great Depression, right? So, I mean, that's how my parents were brought up. Oh, there's no money, but there's money everywhere. All you have to look, do is look on social media and how much money people have. And, you know, people that are really famous, they're generally um, bringing in their income, doing things that they were gifted with by the creator. Right, so you have singers, actors, performers, um, people that are just really talented in one area or another, and they're following their heart as a, a guide post, guide post? I don't know, but that's what you're getting. Um, guidance, and it it's going to be creating that money, that abundance. So you need to really start investing your energy on yourself and sort of divorcing from old ways of thinking that are no longer serving you. If you feel like you're in a place where you could do with more money, you wanna live in a nicer place, uh, whatever your abundance looks like to you, um, start looking in on yourself and get yourself out of this tower of isolation, um, you know, of fear-based lack thinking. Guys, um, I hope this was an interesting reading. Um, I'm gonna base whether or not I do this this um, spread again on the comments I get. So let me know down below in the comments, you guys. And um, yeah, take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Bye.